Well, here's an example of a process we call depreciation. When you drive a car off the lot, it loses value right away, and it continues to lose value over the time that you have it. So we'll model that with just a simple annual growth formula, a of t is equal to a naught times 1 plus r to the t, just as if it were growth, but in this case we're going to use a negative rate, which represents a loss of value every year. So our problem here is that we buy a car for $30,000, and if it depreciates at a rate of 12% every year, then how much is it going to be worth in four years? So let's start by figuring out what we know and don't know. We're trying to find the final amount, so we don't know that. We know that the initial amount is $30,000. We know that the rate is 12%, but it's negative 12%, so negative 0.12. And the time is going to be four years. So now let's just write that problem out and solve it. A of 4 is equal to $30,000 plus, uh, well, 1 minus 0.12 is going to be uh, 0.88 raised to the fourth power. And just using a calculator in the last step, we get about $18,000. So that $30,000 car at the end of the four years is worth $18,000. So what you really have to remember is that depreciation is just simple growth, but growth in quotes, uh, with a negative rate.